Let's simplify your protein. So something that's come up a lot in the shop recently is the lack of understanding of what a protein powder is or why you would even supplement using a protein powder. This is your protein. So great indiscriminate stuff. There's a few things you need to look for when it comes to buying a protein or using a protein for the first time because companies can tend to make it seem way more confusing than what it really actually is. And people tend to look at a protein powder as if it's some magical muscle building thing. It's food. Simple, pretty straightforward. No matter which one you use, it's food. You're just drinking it rather than eating it. You wouldn't come in to a butcher and go, hey, watch which meat is better for muscle building than anything else. It's gonna do the same job. It's just you're drinking your protein, getting a little bit different form of amino acids, and that's about it. But it's a great way to supplement extra protein into your diet because at a certain point, you don't wanna just keep forcing in more and more food. So that's where a protein powder is really handy. So that's essentially the first step when it comes to using a protein powder. It's something that helps supplement more food into your diet. There's a couple of things that come down to then picking your protein powder. The first one is picking a source of protein. So there's a lot of different varieties in protein. We're gonna focus on a few different ones right now in the terms of mainly the most popular sort of ones, which you're looking at right now, it being a whey protein, a collagen protein, or even a plant-based protein. The main reasons you'd separate between those things are mostly things like digestion, lactose intolerances, or any sort of allergen intolerances, ethical reasons or diet reasons, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, that's the main sort of separation when it comes to protein powders as to which one you might choose. The most popular one for most people, if assuming that you're not like have any allergies or you're not um, a vegetarian or vegan or anything, would be your general sort of whey protein. The main reason is very high in protein, high in amino acids, great for general muscle building. Few different types, there's whey protein concentrate and the isolate being the two main focuses that most people use in their day to day. You can generally get an isolate protein and they're gonna be very fast digesting, high protein, low lactose. So great if you're lactose intolerant or looking for just a general post-workout protein. The other option is a 100% whey protein, which is generally gonna be a blend of isolate and concentrate based proteins. And they're gonna be great for anybody that's just looking for a general all around a protein but doesn't have any of those intolerances. <clears throat> Pretty much from there onwards, you can kind of separate depending on what your needs are. So you've got things like collagen, if you're looking for either a different source of protein or you struggle with digestion of either plant-based proteins or a whey-based protein, they're also gonna be uh, bovine-derived, generally speaking. So they're not great for vegans, but they're great if you're looking for that general sort of protein. But also, good thing with collagen, it helps with hair, skin, nails, connective tissues, a lot more other general health benefits on top of being a protein source. The other option you've got, especially if you struggle with digestion of whey proteins or if you're a uh, vegetarian, vegan or anything, it's a plant-based protein. You've got things like your pea proteins, faba bean, peanut, almond, all of them will do the same sort of job, but they're basically gonna be just plant-based derived, generally gluten-free, lactose-free, dairy-free, so great for all those sort of reasons if you're looking to eliminate any sort of protein. As for which one is the best between those ones, there's no such thing. There really isn't. If you're looking for a general protein, use any one of them suiting your needs because the best way to put it, and this is, comes down to every product, if there was one that was outright the best in every category, regardless of you know, the source of protein or anything like that, that's all people would use because there's no reason why you would want to use something that isn't the best. Pretty much pick a protein depending on your needs for those sort of things. The other thing to factor in is then caloric value with your protein powder. You can get ones that are generally gonna be a high protein, low carb, and they're gonna be pretty much all your all-rounders little proteins, or then a mass gainer, which can go up to like a 70% carbohydrate base. Pretty much the only difference between them and a general protein is they've just added extra calories in the form of extra carbohydrates, extra fats, for those people that struggle to get into the extra calories. Again, they're gonna do the same job. It's just food, it's just more calories, it works in the same sort of way. So pretty much just pick your protein on those sort of factors, dumbing it down. Pick it from initially the source of protein, what suits your needs, what suits your diet, uh, digestion, all those sort of things. Next, just pick one based on your caloric value. And then pretty much after that, the only other thing I always factor in is pick one that you like the flavor of. Because they're all gonna do the same job and there's no point choking down a protein, especially if you're using it every day. 
because you're not going to use it if you hate the taste of it. But otherwise, keep it simple. Just pick a protein that suits your needs and you'll be fine.